I was like, yeah, I need that box in my life and I ordered it. Hello friends and welcome to another magical unboxing. If you see my last video, you know that today is not about Harry Potter. However, it is about Disney, which is something that I also love. Um, in my last video, I unboxed a box from Magical Suitcase that had to do with the golden trio. So Harry, Ron and Hermione, they have these awesome Harry Potter boxes and I absolutely love them. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave it in the info cards, but I ordered another box from them and that is the Mulan books. That means that it is a book containing, no way, it is a box containing a book. So that's why they call it a books. What I know about this box less books is that it contains a book that is probably about Mulan and some other items that are either licensed or handmade. So yeah, I'm very excited because Mulan is one of my all time faves. And what's pretty funny is that I actually rewatched Mulan not so long ago. So when I saw that they had a Mulan books, I was like, I need to order this. That's kind of my problem, by the way, because I think I need a lot of things. But this time I thought I could reconcile with myself because I just watched it. So it felt kind of like my destiny to order that box. Anyway, as I said, Mulan is one of my all time faves. I think it's such a great and powerful theme about a girl who's trying to make it in a man's world. In the end, she does that. She is accepted and she's the hero of the story and finds love. So, and she's a tough chick. I mean, it's just great. Oh my gosh, that Han is so, so very creepy. Like the leader guy, that is one of the creepiest Disney villains I know of. And I mean, Mushu is so funny. <laughs> He's like one of the best characters, one of the best sidekicks in, in these Disney movies. So yeah, Mulan, I love Mulan. I am just super ready and excited to see what is inside this box from Magical Suitcase. And if you like these kind of magical unboxings, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get unboxing. Focus. I need to focus like Mulan. And here I have the Mulan books. And on the front, we can see Mulan with Cricket. I have done enough magical suitcase unboxings to know that there is tissue paper on top. So you guys can't see anything. So give me a sec. Let's take a quick, quick sneak peek. Okay, that was it. Did I see Mushu? <laughs> oh, no way. Okay, I'm gonna grab that one first, guys. I mean, it's Mushu. This pop is so freaking adorable. I love Mushu. Okay, let me show you guys the box. So here you can see it is pop number 630, the Mushu. Here you have the side of the box and at the back you can always see the collection that it belongs to. So there's even a 10 inch version. Where are you holding Cricket? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the other side of the box and Let's get him out. I believe this is Mushu in one of the first scenes where he is summoning all of the guardian spirits of the Fa family. Um, and he's actually not a guardian at that point. So he asks the head of all the spirits to go with Mulan so he can prove himself to be a good guardian. And can I just say that Magical Suitcase does a great job of packaging the content in these boxes or the boxes itself for that matter, because I have never gotten something from them that was damaged. And I can't say that about every box that I order. Well, that's a great start to the box. Now let's get to the second item. And I can see that there is tea inside this box. Yes, it is their tea and it is the Hun Invasion. I don't know if that is a safe tea to drink. I mean, the Huns in Mulan are pretty scary. I mean, still to this day, while being an adult, that like the head Hun, the big guy, he's so scary. No, but seriously, I am gonna drink this because <laughs> I love their teas. And I think it's very cute that they always put so much effort into their labels. And of course the gold and red represents Mulan. And you can see that it contains green tea, pomelo and rowan silverweed. It just smells like a very light summer tea, I guess. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. And there's also a candle in this box and you guys know that I love their candles. And I mean, you can never have enough candles in my opinion. So we got a Mushu candle. And here you can see the beautiful label. The candle is called Mushu and beneath it, you can see that there are ingredients called Ilong Ilong, 
no idea what that is <laughs> and cherry let's see how it looks oh that's pretty so it's kind of this off white uh, with gold glitter Ah, oh, this is great it's you can definitely smell the cherry and it's kind of vanilla as well it's probably the elong elong but i have no idea what it is so <laughs> yeah it smells amazing the next item in this box is a mirror um oh i see <laughs> that is very pretty oh my gosh oh you guys look at that a girl worth fighting for this is actually pretty weird because now i'm staring at myself while showing you guys this mirror <laughs> I'm probably gonna use this as a display item because although the back looks stunning, the front does not. <laughs> I mean, uh, the material they use for the mirror is very blurry and a bit scratched, so I'm not gonna use it as an actual mirror, but as I said, the back is stunning, so I do want to display it. And this is obviously to represent the scene of Mulan meeting the matchmaker. We are down to the last item before we get to the book, and that is this white little box. I already know what's in here. It is a mug. How do I know that? Because Magical Suitcase sent me a message. Apparently there was a printing mistake and two letters are missing, but they will be sending the right mug in the next box. Of course, we're still gonna take a look. Ooh, I like it. I wasn't expecting something so neutral. I was expecting maybe a character or something, but this appears to be the Chinese wall and a quote from the emperor. This is one of the final scenes where Mulan saves the day. Okay, let's see if we can find the printing mistake. So here you can see the Chinese wall and here is the quote. Oh yeah, I think it is probably this one. So this word should be officer and it's missing two letters. I've heard a great deal about you, Fa Mulan. You stole your father's armor, ran away from home, impersonated a soldier, deceived your commanding officer, dishonored the Chinese army, destroyed my palace, and you have saved us all. So we're gonna get a new one. But what should I do with this one? <laughs> okay, so we are left with the book in this box and I already thought about this. What book is there about Mulan? I could only think of the original story from Disney, but then I remembered seeing on Instagram the Twisted Tales. So these are stories about different Disney characters and then with a the question, what if this never happens? Oh, uh, this book looks so pretty. It's called Reflection. That's of course from the song. That's such a beautiful song, My Reflection. I think it's called My Reflection. It's a gorgeous song. If you've never heard that song, listen to that song because it's gonna make you cry. I mean, look at this book. This looks gorgeous and it is a reflection, a twisted tale. What if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? I never read any of these twisted tales. If you have, let me know your opinion in the comments down below because I am very intrigued. What if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? When Captain Shang is mortally wounded in battle, Mulan must travel to the underworld, Diju, in order to save him from certain death. But King Yama, the ruler of Diju, is not willing to give Shang up easily. With the help of Shang's great lion guardian, Shishi, Mulan must find Shang's spirit and leave by sunrise or become King Yama's prisoner forever. Mulan, still disguised as the soldier Ping, wrestles with the decision whether or not to reveal her true identity to her closest friend. Will Mulan be able to save Shang before it's too late? I am so excited to read this and I'm so curious to find out if I'm gonna like it because I know there are a lot of these twisted tales. And that was everything in this Mulan books and we are left with the spoiler sheet. It says every one of us feels like a Disney princess and we definitely identify the most with Mulan. So we've decided to design these books just for her. We hope it will bring you lots of joy. And we got a total of six items in this box. My favorite item in this box, well, apart from the book, because that is probably my favorite item, um, I'm gonna go for the Funko Pop because Mushu, 
It's my show. After unboxing all these items, I just feel like I need to watch a Disney movie. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. If you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.